Hello beautiful people, welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne Marie. In today's class, we are going to do a vinyasa flow. So we're going to be activating the cardio, but there's going to be a special emphasis on our shoulders. So I'm going to do a bunch of different stretches in the beginning of the class as well as in the end to really relax the shoulders. And I'm also going to be putting uh, some emphasis on shoulder placement during the various postures. So um, get your blocks ready and uh, let's get started right away. <laughs> So to begin with, you can just place the block beside your mat. <clears throat> place your feet hip width. Interlace your fingers. Intercross the ten fingers. Make sure the thumbs are touching if possible. Stretching your arms forward. Inhale, lift them all the way up. And once they're up, just Turn the palms to the sky, okay? So we're stretching as we're also sort of warming up our bodies, bringing the attention in the room toward the breath, establishing a rhythm of breath, calm rhythm of breath through the nose. So make sure that you're not sticking your bum out, so tilting your pelvis forward. We want to avoid that. So just bring your tailbone towards the ground navel towards the spine, chest up, look straight ahead. Make sure you're pushing through your index fingers. Imagine you're touching the ceiling above you basically. So as you're pulling the arms up, your shoulders are really pushing down away from your ears. Make sure the weight is distributed equally in your feet. And gently contract the thighs just to create some energy and warmth there. And on an inhale, you can just stretch up and twist to your right. As you're twisting, make sure that your hips stay squared facing front and that you're really just twisting the spine so that your shoulders are moving, but not your hips. So learn to relax your shoulders here as you're stretching upwards. Your arms, you should be extended as much as possible. Now we're going to take an inhale here. And as you exhale, do a slight back bend in the twist. Very good. So you're pushing the pelvis forward, chest up, looking slightly up as well. Inhale, stretch back. As you exhale, come back to standing in a twist. And then just move forward and bring the arms down. And let's switch it up a little bit. So now interlace your fingers in your back. Maybe we try switching, so putting the opposite index forward just to balance things out. Extend your arms back. Inhale, stretch the spine up. And as you exhale, bend from the hips, keep the back straight. Try to go all the way down. If it's too intense, just bend the knees and then try bringing your arms over and up. And breathe here, relaxing the neck, relaxing the shoulders. Spreading those collarbones away from one another. The weight distributed equally in the feet, not too much weight in the heels here, because as much as possible, we want to have the hips directly over the ankles. One last inhale. Contract the abdomen, lower abdomen, and as you inhale, come back up. Stretching those arms back and then down. Super. Let's do the other side now. So again, interlace the fingers in front of you. Stretching the arms. Inhale, go all the way up. And once you're up, you can just turn the palms inside out. So once again, belly in. So in yogic breathing, we want to breathe with our navel moving in towards our spine. Breathing calmly throughout the nose. 
chest up, arms extended. The palms are pushing up, but the shoulders are pushing downward, away from the ears, relaxing those shoulders. Inhale, stretch up. As you exhale, gently twist to the left, minding the hips, making sure that the hips stay squared, facing the front of your mat. Always trying to bring those arms as back as possible, as far back, but without lifting the shoulders, without tilting your pelvis forward. So always thinking about bringing the tailbone towards the mat. Inhale, stretch up. And as you exhale, do a slight back bend within the twist. Inhale, stretch back one last time. As you exhale, come back up in the twisting position and then move forward again, arms down. We're gonna work the upper body part of the Garudasana pose. So inhale, bring the arms up, palms together, and as you exhale, swing the arms and bring the right elbow underneath the left elbow. So you're sort of twisting the arms like as if you're wrapping one arm underneath the other, palms together. And in the first component of this exercise, we're going to bring the arms down. As far down as possible, shoulders down. Maybe you can see the tip of your fingers with your nose. Make sure you're extending through the cervical spine, so chin towards your chest. You know, if you're tense during the day, also remind yourself to do that because we tend to contract and to reduce the length in that cervical spine. So just bringing the chin towards the chest and extending through the back end of the head makes a really big difference. Now on the next inhale, do the opposite. Bring the arms all the way up. And this should also feel really good in the trapeze muscles. Take a second inhale, stretch up. Contract the lower abdomen, and as you exhale, bend from the hips, keeping the arms in Garudasana position, and bend all the way down. And relax here. Make sure you're always gently contracting the thighs so that you're not overextending, hyperextending the knee articulation. Toes relaxed. Head relaxed, neck relaxed. Very good. Again, contract the lower abdomen. And on an inhale, come back up. Try to extend. So chest extended. And let's come all the way back up exactly the way we came down. On an exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, bring the arms back up, palms together. And as you exhale, now cross the left elbow underneath the right. Palms together. If you can't, just put the back of the hands together. Do whatever you can. And again, first part, bring those elbows down low, looking straight ahead, minding your belly, maintaining that yogic breathing while sucking in the belly, inhaling it and exhaling while sucking in the belly. On the next inhale, stretch the arms all the way up. Inhale, stretch up, contract the lower abdomen and as you exhale, bend from the hips, keeping the back straight as much as possible. And once again, flex, forward, forward flexion. <laughs> Contract the lower abdomen, inhale, and come back up, stretching through the chest, chest leading the movement all the way up. And as you exhale, bring the arms down to the sides. Good. And we are now ready to start our sun salutation. Exhale through the nose, 
Inhale, bring the arms up, stretching the arms forward and up, look up. Exhale, do a slight back bend, pelvis forward, chest up, arms with the ears. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, bend from the hips, back straight, arms on the hands on the ground, forehead towards the shins. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, Mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, just let the hips sink into the lower lunge. Abdomen in, look forward. And again here, you're not bringing the shoulders up. So shoulders down as you're extending through the fingers, but relaxed fingers. Inhale, look up, stretch up. Exhale, plant the hands, bring the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring both knees on the mat, top of the feet on the mat. Exhale, chest on the mat, between the hands, chin on the mat. Inhale, push forward and up into a cobra, keeping the pelvic bone in contact with the mat. Exhale, tuck the toes, back into downward facing dog. Rolling the shoulders out. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot. Inhale, arms and head up. Exhale, let the hips sink down low, pushing the pelvis forward, sucking the belly in. Shoulders down. Inhale, stretch up. Look up. Exhale, plant the hands. Bring the left foot forward. Forward bend. Bend the knees, tummy on the, hip, on the thighs. Grab your ankles from behind. Thumbs outside, fingers inside. Shoulders up towards the sky. Look straight below on the ground. Inhale, extend the spine. And as you exhale, just bend forward. Extend the legs as much as you can without losing the contact. Here, even though you're kind of pulling gently with your hands, your shoulders should be nice and relaxed away from your ear. So try focusing on that rather than really pulling on your ankles. Bend the knees, extend the arms forward. Inhale, come all the way up, straight back. Exhale, back bend, pushing the pelvis forward, chest up. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, second side. Bend from the hips, keep the back straight, arms with the ears, hands on the mat, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Inhale, arms up, exhale, come down into a low lunge. Inhale, stretch up, this time twist to the right. From here, maybe you can just stay here or see if you can reach back with your hand, maybe touching your heel and then bring the left arm up and over, opening the chest. Look towards your fingertips. Now inhale, come back up into the twist. Exhale, plant the hands forward. Tuck the left toes and bring the right foot back. Downward facing dog. Opening the shoulder blades, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, bring both knees on the mat, tops of the feet on the mat. Exhale, chest on the mat between the hands, chin touching the ground. Inhale, push forward and up into a cobra, keeping the pelvis bone on the contact with the floor. Exhale, tuck the toes back into downward facing dog. Inhale, 
Left leg up, stretch it up. Exhale, left foot forward between the hands. Right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch the arms up, arms with the ears. Exhale, sit down into that low lunge. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, twist, this time to the left. You can stay here or explore moving back. There's always one side that's going to be easier than the other. Bring the right arm over and up. Nice stretch in the chest and the hips here. On the next inhale, come back up into the twist. Exhale, plant the hands forward and bring the right foot forward. Forward bend. Bend the knees, arms forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands at Namaskara. And then on each side of the body. Bring your feet together. Second sun salutation, Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, stretch the arms to the sides. All the way up, palms together, slight back bend if possible. Exhale, bend from the hips, belly in. Straight back, hands on the ground, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant hands, jump or walk back in plank. From here, side plank. Let's pivot on the right heels. Bring the left arm up, look up. Inhale, lift the left foot all the way up. Keep your balance here. On the exhale, bring the left foot as high up as possible on the floor behind you and reverse. Push those hips up, push the chest up, look towards your left hand, arch the back. Inhale, come back into side plank. Step by step, lift the left foot up. As you exhale, left foot down, back into plank. Let's do the other side. Pivot the heels now to the left. Right arm up, make sure your alignment is all right. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Exhale, bring the right foot behind, as high up on the mat or on the floor. And then bring your right arm over and up, pushing the, help, the pelvis and the chest towards the sky. Look towards your right hand, palm facing the ground. Inhale, back into side plank right leg up and on the exhale bring the right foot down back into plank inhale here exhale go all the way down or stop halfway chaturanga inhale push the upper body up shoulders back if you're in upward well in both positions but upward facing dog especially and exhale go into downward facing dog let's take five nice breaths here Press all of the fingers into the mats. Roll your shoulders out away from one another. Shoulders relaxed. Chest opening. Belly in. Tailbone pointing towards the sky. Thighs contracted. Heels just let, gently um, trying to meet with the mat. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk or jump between the hands, flat back, shoulders up, exhale, hands down, forehead to the knees, inhale, come all the way up, flat back, palms together, slight back bend if possible, exhale, hands down in namaskara, arms to the side, let's repeat, inhale, stretch the arms up, palms together, look up, exhale, bending from the hips, straight back, Belly in, hands down, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant hands, jump back into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push the upper body forward and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, stretch it up. Let's stay here for five, four, three, 
two, one. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the chest. Pivot the left heel onto the mat. Left leg, left arm up and pull your right leg out. Inhale, exhale, left hand on the mat. Bring the right leg back up into three-legged downward dog. Exhale, right foot forward between the hands. High lunge. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, rest into your high lunge. Push in the, hip, the hips forward, belly in, chest up. Look forward. Back leg completely extended, you're pushing through the heel. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands forward, right foot back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push the upper body forward and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stretch the left leg up one last time. As you exhale, bring the left knee towards the chest. Pivot the right heel on the mat, right arm up, and open the left leg out. Inhale, exhale, plant the right hand, left foot back and up, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands, high lunge. Inhale. Bring the arms and the head up at the same time. Exhale. Just get settled into your high lunge here. Shoulders down, arms up, belly in, chest up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands down. Left foot back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. Push the upper body forward and up, upward facing dog, legs completely extended. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, jump between the hands, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, hands down, forehead to the shins. Inhale, come all the way up. Back straight, arms up, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands down to Namaskara, and then to each sides of the body. Okay, so final flow with Surya Namaskara B. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, bend the knees, brush the tips of the fingertips on the mat, and come up into a chair, Utkatasan. Exhale, hands down on the mat, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Shoulders up, exhale, plant the hands, jump back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, belly in. Inhale, push forward and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now pivot the right heel towards the center of your mat. Inhale, left foot forward between the hands. On your next inhale, bring the arms and head up. Exhale, just Rest into the water, trying to square both hips to the front of your mat. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, bring the arms down, interlace the fingers behind your back. Open the shoulders, stretch the arms back. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, humble warrior, bend the upper body down as low as possible, keeping the right leg extended. Inhale, bring the upper body back up. Back straight, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Bring the right foot parallel to the short end of your mat and look to the left towards your middle finger. Shoulders relax. Turn your left palm to the sky. Inhale, reverse the warrior. So bring the left hand up and over, chest up, look up. Inhale, stretch back one last time. Exhale. Come back into warrior two. And now bring your left hand forward between your left foot and your right arm up. Parshva 
Konasan. Inhale, stretch up. You can stay here, or you can try to bring your right arm up and over to make a perfect straight line between the tip of your right fingers and the outer edge of your right foot. Inhale, bring the right arm back up. And as you exhale, you can come on the tips of the left fingers and try to extend the left leg completely. Always use your block if you need to in any of those variations. Okay? Now bring your gaze to the ground. Bend your left knee. You can bring your left hand forward in front of your left foot. And just make a little jump to come balancing onto your left foot in half moon. You may lose your balance here, it's all right. It takes time to master some of these postures. Keep your right leg as parallel as possible to the floor, thigh contracted. You can keep your gaze on the mat or just look straight ahead. Or if you want to test your gaze, taste, test your balance, you can see if you want to look up towards your right hand. Very good. From here, bend the left knee and let's come back into warrior two. So try to stick your landing. Upper body up, arm parallel to the floor. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, swing the arms forward, left foot back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push forward, push up, shoulders back, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now pivot your left heel towards the inside of your mat. Inhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. On your next inhale, bring the arms and head up. And as you exhale, just feel the warrior one. Try to square the hips, belly in, chest up, arms up. Inhale, stretch up, try to look up maybe. And as you exhale, interlace the 10 fingers, stretch the arms back, open the shoulders. Inhale, stretch up once again. As you exhale, bend the upper body forward and down into humble warrior. Inhale, come back all the way up. Bring the arms up. And as you exhale, warrior two. Bring the left foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Open the hips, sink the hips down. Shoulders relax. Look forward towards your middle finger of your right hand. Pivot the right hand, right palm towards the sky. Inhale, reverse. Inhale, stretch the right arm back. And as you exhale, come back into warrior two. And then gently bring your right hand on the mat or on your block in front of your right foot. Left arm up. Hips low. Left leg extended. Inhale, stretch the left arm up. You can stay here or bring the left arm over and out. Inhale, left arm back up. And as you exhale, you can extend the right leg, coming up onto the fingertips of the right hand. Push the hips forward. We're in Trikonasana here. Keeping the shoulders relaxed as always. Now bring your gaze down. Bend the right knee. You can move your hand forward a little bit, your right hand. And with one jump, just try to, again, whoops, balance. So there's always one side that's more challenging than the other. And there are days where it's more difficult as well. So not to worry, no judgment. We're just doing our best here. So in half moon, left leg extended, trying to make a capital L shape with her hands, with her legs. And gently bend the right knee. And we're gonna try to stick it back, come back into warrior two. Very good. Bring the upper body back up, arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, swing the arms forward, right foot back into plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and up. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent. So from here, just bring your knees onto the mat. Here, let's start by, first of all, let's do a few breaths in cat and cat and cow. 
doing it later in the practice, you might notice that, wow, the spine is much more supple. So let's explore that. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, belly in, tailbone towards the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back, tailbone towards the sky, belly towards the ground, look up. Exhale, chin towards the chest, suck the belly in, tailbone towards the mat, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, come back up, arch the back, belly towards the ground, and one last time. Exhale, chin to the chest, belly in, tailbone towards the ground. Inhale, come all the way up, roll the shoulders back, belly towards the mat, tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, come back into neutral. From this position, we're going to go into baby dolphin. Also feel free to put a block because we're going to be bringing our chest towards the mat. So if this is particularly challenging for you, use the block. If not, keeping your hips directly above your knees, just try to bring the chest towards the mat. So you're opening the shoulders. Imagine you're bringing your armpits towards your face. Breathing, your hands and your elbows are at the width of your shoulders. Forehead on the mat. I'm just letting that chest sinking in nicely into the ground. From this position, keep your right arm extended. You can come up a little bit, and I just want you to thread your left arm underneath your right shoulder, palm of the left hand facing up into a nice twist. So you should feel the stretching here between your shoulder blades, especially if you're tight in that area in your upper spine and in your shoulder. You wanna, as much as possible, try to bring your left shoulder directly below the right shoulder. You can stay here. I'm going to give you a couple options so you can just bring the right hand on top of the left hand to sort of do like a prayer motion. You can also bring the right arm completely up and look up. Okay? Or you can just come and try to create a bind. So see if your right hand can reach in behind and grab your inner left thigh. And then you can really try opening the shoulders. So the idea is to relax here and to stretch and not to contract those shoulders. Generally in the shoulders, what's happening is that we're compensating, we're tense and we approach the practice with a lot of tenseness and that's why we tend to, to feel like we're very tight in the shoulders. So if that's the same in your daily lives, you know, put all the pressure of your, <laughs> of your work and day-to-day -day business on your shoulders and that's what creates all the tension. So on an inhale, you can just bring the right arm back forward if you weren't already in that position. Unthread the left arm, bring the left arm forward. And this time around, just thread the right arm all the way underneath the left shoulder. And again, Whichever variation you were doing on the other side, do the same variation on this side. So, two words in Sanskrit, very important. One is tira, the other one is sukha. Sukha means ease, and tira is, refers more to the effort. So in yoga, in any of the asanas, the postures that you're doing, you want to sort of find the balance between that. Perfect balance between effort and ease. So you shouldn't be finishing your practice and feeling exhausted. You should feel energized. Okay, let's come out of the posture. Left hand forward. Gently come onto all fours. Now bring your knees together 
and cross the right knee and the right leg in front of the left knee and separate your heels. So we're going to go back here, try to sit between the heels, okay? So this is an intense stretch in the outer hips. So if, if you are a runner, if you sit in a chair all day long, this is going to be especially challenging for you, so feel free to use a block. And we're going to work our shoulders while we do this, okay? So I'm going to give you several options. So your right hand, you can just bring it over and behind, so the palm of your hand sort of in between your shoulder blades. And you can just use the other hand to sort of pull your elbow toward the center of your head. Okay, try to keep the back as straight as possible. So that's one option. The other option is if you want to just sneak your left arm back and see if you can create a bind. For those of you that have a strap or a belt uh, or anything really that's solid enough that you can actually grab with both hands, this can be very useful. So the idea is once you're here in a bind, you want to think about opening the shoulders back. So sort of like doing an outer rotation of the shoulder. And gently release. Come back onto all fours. Cross the right knee behind the left knee. Separate the heels. So ideally your knees are stacked on top of one another and both your sit bones are well seated into the floor. So for the bind, if you did the bind, another idea, another way of doing the bind, especially if you're very tight, you, just want, you can want to help yourself with your other hand to bring that, that lower arm as high up as possible between your shoulder blades, palm facing out. And then you can come and see with your other hand if you can grab. So there's always a side that's tighter than the other. It's very normal. So we're working towards reestablishing that balance between all of the hemispheres of the body. <laughs> Gently, we can release. Come back onto all fours. And then you can just cross the legs and come back into a seated position. Move forward because we're going to go down onto our bellies. Okay, so coming down onto our bellies, let's work on this exercise where I just want you to pull in your your pubic bone towards your navel to really round the spine. You can extend the legs and take your time, go as slowly as you can so that we don't abruptly come down. So this is especially challenging for myself. Great exercise. Now bring both of your knees towards your chest. You can just give yourself a little hug. Pamuktasana, extend the left leg, interlace your 10 fingers, grab the right knee just below, grab your shin actually right below the knee, inhale, and as you exhale, bring the knee towards the chest. Try not lifting your right hip upwards, so keeping both of your hips squared. Flatten the shoulders onto the mat, shoulders away from the ears, and look towards your navel. So trying to flatten also the cervical spine. Great. Release the right leg. 
extend it on the mat, bend the left knee, interlace the fingers, maybe changing out the order in which you interlace the fingers. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring the left knee now towards the chest. Once again, open the shoulder blades, try to bring your shoulders onto the mat. Don't lift your left hip upward, keeping both hips squared, flattening the entire spine onto the mat, and also trying to flatten your cervical spine. So looking down towards your navel. Breathing through the nose. And gently release. Lift both feet up at the same time. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Try to grab your elbows if you can. If not, just grab your forearms or your feet. Make sure your toes, your feet are equal. So not one foot further than the other. Inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze those knees into the chest. Again, trying to flatten the shoulders onto the mat. And as you're gently pulling with your, your hands and your arms, try to flatten the lower spine. So bringing your coccyx all onto the ground as well. Sort of like unraveling the spine onto the mat. And release. Just bring your feet onto the mat so that your heels are directly below your knees. Knees and heat and ankles, hip width. Okay, so we're gonna be go moving into bridge pose. This is very good for the upper body, very good for the shoulders as well. To release the tension, in any tension in the necks and the trapeze muscles, etc. So bring the arms uh, along your sides, palms facing the ground. Look towards your chest. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring the hips up as high as you can, okay? So the idea here, so now you can just walk your hands towards your heels, and if you'd like, you can also interlace your fingers to bring the shoulders even more so towards your heels. Don't separate the knees. Imagine you have a, like a large grapefruit, <laughs> between your knees and you want to squeeze them. So we're keeping the hips, the knees, and the heels hip distance, hip width. And so you're pushing the hips up, and at the same time, you're pushing your chest towards your chin, okay? And let's stay here for 10 more seconds. Make sure your feet aren't also spreading out like a duck, so keep your feet in an H, perfect H shape as much as possible. Another five, four, push those hips up one last time. Take a nice inhale, push the chest in towards your, sh your chin. And to come out of the posture, bring the palms on the, on the ground. You can also lift your heels. And as you exhale, unravel the spine. One vertebra at a time. And let's just finish this off with our traditional spine twist. So bring your arms in a T-shape. Scoop your heels, your, he your heels, scoop your hips over to the right, okay? Cross your right leg over top your left leg. Interlace the, the feet if you can. Inhale, bring the knees towards the chest, and as you exhale, let the knees drop over to the left. and look to the right. So the priority here is to keep the shoulders in contact with the mat. Inhale, bring the knees in. Untwist the legs, now scooch your hips over to the left side of your mat, cross the left leg over the right leg, bring the foot behind the calf if it's possible for you. Inhale, bring the 
Knees in towards the chest, and as you exhale, let the knees fall over to the right, and look to the left. Inhale, bring the knees in toward the chest. Unlace the feet. Okay, last exercise before we go into Savasana is also gonna serve as like an opening of the chest, of the upper spine. So just grab your block, okay? And I'd like you to place it on your mat. And then lift your upper body up so that the bottom of the block is at the bottom of your shoulder blades and so that the top of the block stops at the top of your shoulder blade. Now, if you don't have a block, just lie on your back and push yourself forward so that your trapeze muscles are as far away as possible from your, from your ears, okay? And you can do the exact same exercise, or you can use maybe just a cushion to place behind your shoulder blades to create a little bit of opening into the chest. Okay, your legs, you can either keep them extended or if you like, you can bring the palms of the feet together, let the hips open, let the knees open to each side. And what I'd like you to do is grab your elbows. So this is such a fantastic passive way of stretching your shoulders, really. So relax. You don't need to do anything at all, aside from telling yourself to relax, which apparently during these times in this day and age is <laughs> quite difficult to do. We don't realize how tense we are until we try to start relaxing. So just take this opportunity to completely let go. Let the gravity support you do its work. And we're also opening the chest, so just let your heart expand. Let your heart fill with love. There you go. So now I'd just like you to switch off the crossing. So bring the other hand, the opposite hand underneath to balance out the body. You might notice that just by doing this, very different sen sensation. Excellent. You can let go of the elbows. If you want, you can use your hands to sort of bring your knees back up if you were doing a hip opening at the same time. Also use your hands to sort of raise your head up so that you're not doing any brutal movements. Remove the block. And lie down on your back for Shavasana. So once again, in Sravasana, you really want to like make sure that your shoulder blades are fully in contact with the mat, shoulders away from the ear, so you can just actually push yourself upward towards your head, chin towards your chest, forward tilt of the pelvis, and then bring your arms down to the sides, palms facing up, feet about the distance, the width of your mat, and close your eyes. and let go.
So for two minutes, let go of your identity even just relax completely. We're going to do it in silence and I will let you know when it's up. Enjoy. Hey, beautiful people, just start moving your fingers, toes of your feet. If you'd like, you can also stretch your body as if you were just waking up in the morning. Second start to your day. Roll over onto your right side. Stop there for just a second. then come back up to standing. Wonderful, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Let's see each other soon. Between now and then, take care. Keep on practicing. Namaste. <laughs>